Shame, Shame that, that tune. And now we have come to the moment where we will determine, once and for all, who really and truly shamed that tune. Contestants, please approach the front of the stage, aka the antechamber of shame. Now, as we know, our winner will be determined by audience applause. But please wait for the cue. First, we talk for a while. Three contestants stand before me in the antechamber of shame. And yet, only one will win our grand prize. A one-way ticket out of this hellish, disease-ridden nightmare that is Chicago, Illinois in the wintertime. <coughs> That's not true, is it? Uh, no, At least the part about the ticket. Uh, there's no escape. The ticket out, yeah. <laughs> Nonetheless, we do have lovely prizes for each of you for daring to shame that tune. <laughs> Claire. Your story was a saline solution of disinfecting humor. <laughs> and yet your performance in the expository essay section of your application, which you claim, quote, tit mice from Uranus, or why we have seasons, <laughs> left us wondering if you're really all that serious about winning Shane that too. <laughs> Maggie. Your poopy pants warmed the cockles of our hearts. They really did. And yet, after your abysmal avant dance reinterpretation of the Phil Collins classic, Billy, Don't You Lose My Number, the judges are uncertain if you even want to shame that tune. Sophie. I dub thee Captain Courageous of the USS Big Balls. <laughs> Mighty brave of you to brave the uncertainties of the volunteer. Is this courage enough to overcome your substandard showing in the aptly named Karate Chop Through the Jewelasco Seafood Section competition? <laughs> we shall soon find out. So our winner will be determined by audience applause. So audience, I ask you, if you believe Claire most shamed that tune, applaud now. Now, audience, I ask thee, if you believe Maggie most shamed that tune, applaud now. And now, audience, finally, if you believe Sophie most shamed that tune, applaud now.
shall now consult with our judges to determine who really and truly shamed that ago we collectively embarked on a journey. A journey with reels, tunes, shames, <laughs> Russian accents of a kind, and so much more. And now we reach our conclusion, wherein we find out who shamed that tune. This is by no means an easy decision. No means. Our third place winner is Claire. Approach the stage. Congratulations, Claire. Uh, you win a cupcake. Woo and you know, you, you, you know, you. We're the least shameful. You got that to hang your hat on. And you also, because you finished third, you know, sometimes people finish third feel bad about themselves. There's no reason to. You get, and so make you feel better. Here's a uh, pep talk from the coach. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Uh, listen, Perry, it was not your, not your best game tonight. But uh, look, you lost out to a, like, a poop it show and a uh, fake abortion of Trent Reznor's love child. So I think that you, in the end, are the big winner tonight. <laughs> Thanks, Claire. Yeah, for Claire, one more time, everybody. All right. And now we'll find out who our second prize winner is. On shame. That. Our second prize winner is Maggie, please approach the stage. Congratulations, Maggie. You win another cupcake. <laughs> Savor this one. Savor it. And uh, you also win a diary. Far to always chronicle your shame, and on the front it says, "Be yourself." Aww. Sure, sure, Maggie. Wise words for an, an actress. Uh, Maggie, everybody. And now we shall determine our grand prize winner on shame that tune. Maggie, how are you feeling? A little disappointed. A little disappointed. Sophie, how are you feeling? A little disappointed. <laughs> Just for the sake of argument, what will you do if if you win? Um, get a fake abortion. <laughs> so we're about to find out. Our grand prize winner 
on shame that fortune to <laughs> is. You win two tickets to attend a hideout show of your choice. And last but certainly not the least, you win a t-shirt that says, I won big on Shame That Tune. Wear that everywhere you go. Heard of all our good friends at Midwest, Midwest Merch. in the throes of puberty, but now it is time for us to say goodbye. Shalom, y'all. We were angsty. We were wiry. We'd circle in our diaries, but now we walk away with wonderful pride. Zzz. In the end, y'all were number one. Spun that wheel. We had some fun. Abraham played some of the songs in Rome. Woo! Woo! And Brian allowed the guests in a tent.